Hi guys, um, happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. I've lost a lot. Um, but I'm smiling because I can taste my food and smell a little bit more than before. Um, yeah, that got me excited. Um, it started yesterday. I was uh, feeling like when I was eating, there were moments of flavor. And I was afraid to get excited because three days ago I felt the same. And then during the day, it just like went away again. It was, it's really weird. And um, anyway, I'm enjoying the food more um, because of the taste. And, and I can smell a little bit better. <clears throat> Sorry, I just finished eating an apple and... <clears throat> Gave me a little tick on my throat, but anyway, um, yes, so, um, just wanted to share that, that, uh, put a little pep in my step, um, I'm feeling less congested, um, I should be going home, I think is Monday or Tuesday, I think I should be going home Monday or Tuesday, um, not complaining I'm just like almost my bed um, and um, I'm because I'm feeling better I'm noticing like I'm tuning to the TV more um, which that's a good sign because those who know me personally when I'm not feeling well and I'm not listening to my music or watching TV something is wrong so I'm able to kind of stay up a little longer um, and have my attention a little bit um, sharper than um, before the way I was feeling last week. Um, so just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, baby steps, but definitely progressing and moving closer to my exit. Um, I was told that there's no need for me to get COVID tested again for three months. Um, even though I passed the 14 days, uh, I should not be, um, I should not be able to affect, um, infect anyone. I'm not contagious, uh, when I leave, but studies have shown that once you recover you have no symptoms, no fevers, for over a week without medication. Like the medication I told you I was taking, I stopped. Um, so I have no help of any, of no fever reducing medication in me. So um, I have had no fever. Um, and I have not felt my chest pain. I'm less fatigued when I'm talking or walking. So that's a good sign. But they don't recommend really until three months after recovery because they said that I could still test positive for COVID apparently, um, but doesn't mean I'm contagious. It'll still show up. It, um, so they said to wait for like three months and then get retested. Um, and then they'll do the antibody, antibodies um, test, blood tests. So, um, a lot of medical information um, to process and understand and I've learned a lot from this process I'm just so grateful I'd rather be bored and going through um, it's not even bored it's like just isolation is your mental takes a hit um, but I'd rather know that I got hit m with a mild version than being in the hospital. So just want to quickly share this good news with you. I'm able to taste my food. I can smell a little bit. Got to enjoy um, pasta. They get very small portion. They do portion control, of course, um, healthy food. Um, and I say healthy even though it's pasta because one, it was definitely portion controlled and it wasn't 
swimming in oil not even a lot of sauce I'll be honest with you so um, I think it was lasagna um, but it was definitely almost like brownie size like that's how small it was with a lot of vegetables I've been eating my vegetables because I love vegetables but um, um so and hydrating which is very important if I'm not drinking my Gatorade, I'm drinking the bottled waters that they're giving. Um, sometimes, so, um, which I need to hydrate anyway, because I really suck when it comes to hide, keeping myself hydrated. Anyway, guys, um, can't wait to get out of here and um, get back home, my own bed, um, and get some grooming done. Jesus. To get my eyebrow done, you know, and start working on my whatever little bit of sun that's have started l lately, because I look uh, freaking pale, look horrible, but I'd rather look horrible than have my health decline. So no complaints, no complaints. I'm grateful, feeling grateful. Thank you guys. Oh, as always, keep you updated. Hopefully more, hopefully more upbeat videos, which I have things that I'm um, projects I'm working on, more upbeat, happy. <laughs> so, but like I always say, I try to be real with you as much as possible, and um, and have you come into my world why I share with you and hopefully I motivate someone I make someone smile laugh or, or whatever for whatever reason okay so um, be kind to one another um, please take precaution um, even though you can and still if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen but um, keep your family close even though whether they drive you crazy or not just keep them close because those are the f faces that flashes through your head and you look down at your results and, and see the word positive with COVID and you start thinking I'm gonna die from this but not this time Satan not this time I'm telling you the devil is real it's been many times they've knocked on my door. Doesn't work with me. I don't know why, but it just doesn't work with me. I don't question the process. I don't question why it doesn't work with me, but it doesn't work with me. Not this time. It's not my time yet. Not going anywhere. Okay? And uh, besides the Green Reaper, please. There's been times he came very close knocking on my door. And let me tell you something. He don't want me. I will annoy the shit out of the Green Reaper. He probably would throw me right back to life and be like, take this bitch back. <laughs> I swear to God, I would be so annoyed. Because <laughs> I know I can be annoyed. Especially to my family members. Green Reaper don't want me. It ain't time for me to go nowhere. I got people, people to see, people to annoy, things to do on my bucket list. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? Take care and be kind to one another. Bye. <laughs> oh, yes. And one more thing, please. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Please, please hit like and share. Share. Sharing is caring. Just don't be stingy. Sh share me with others, okay? Bye.